Hey everybody, Tyler here. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some sand leveling. Five tons to be exact. I'm gonna try to break this down step by step and show you exactly everything you need to do and know. So with that being said, let's get into it. So the very first step you wanna do is to scout the lawn. You can do this with a rotary mower or a reel mower. Just go as low as you can without hitting the dirt, and I'll always bag the clippings when I do this. This will help the sand spread much easier, and it'll help you see any low spots that really need attention. So step two is to core aerate. When I get done aerating, I'm gonna collect all these cores just because I use a real mower, and I'm also gonna apply a granular humic acid to help with the soil structure and nutrient uptake. I just rented this aerator from Home Depot, and I'm gonna split it between a few neighbors to help keep costs down. So now I've run the rotary and I'd say I got up about 90% of the cores. It works really well, better than I thought. So now I'm gonna apply the granular humic acid. This is totally optional. Uh, I just think it's the perfect time to do this. I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you what I'm using. The high rate is four pounds per thousand. So I'm gonna push it to the limit and go eight pounds per thousand here. And uh, yeah, let's do it. So this is the product that I'm gonna be using. It's the Anderson's Humic DG. Um, I found this on Facebook Marketplace for 10 bucks. Some guy said he bought the wrong thing. So here we are, and I do like these products, and this is a good humor. So my sand finally got delivered, and that brings us to step three, which is the sand day. What I plan to do is use this gorilla cart. Uh, this is the seven cubic foot gorilla cart, and I'm just gonna make small piles kind of around the yard. Um, I'm really just gonna do about 5,000 square feet and see if I can get away with uh, five tons here. So we'll make some small piles and then I'm gonna be spreading it around with a leveling rake. So you'll see me doing that, but I don't have a drag mat or uh, riding lawnmower, or four wheeler or anything like that. So I'm just doing it all by hand. So I just finished up sanding, I already took a shower, and uh, it was enough sand to do the front yard, the side yard, and most of the backyard actually, so it worked out well. And that brings us to step four. So now I'm gonna go ahead and put out a fertilizer. I'm just gonna use a triple 10. Um, I did a soil test a while back, and this house is pretty new. We've only been here about two and a half years, so it was low in NPK, so I'm just gonna throw down a triple 10, and then I will water it all in. All right, so I got the fertilizer done, and the last and final step is to just water like crazy. Um, I don't actually have any footage of that, but I'm gonna run the irrigation system in the morning, and I actually think we're supposed to be getting some rain on Monday, so that'll be great. But, uh, you know, I hope you guys learned something. Um, you know, if you like this content, subscribe for more, and I'll try to do another update here in about three weeks, and uh, we'll see how it looks after the sand settles in. So, all right, catch you guys later.